Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On One Photo Raw 2023.5 is out, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing what's new and answering whether this is a big upgrade. So let's get right into this. The first update is the new Resize AI. On One says they have integrated Resize AI 2023.5 into On One Photo Raw. This upgraded version of Resize AI detects small faces and enhances it with realistic detail using a new face recovery model. It also includes AI noise reduction to remove JPEG artifacts present in highly compressed photos. As you can see here, you can turn the features on and off and you can also control the strength. So let's look at one example of the results of Resize AI. Here is the unresized photo. Note that the features look very soft and lacks a lot of detail given that it is only around 640 by 480 pixels in size. Here is the resized photo using Resize AI in Photo Raw 2023.1. I've resized the image to a 4 megapixel file. Notice that the image is now much sharper, but it also includes the presence of unsightly artifacts in the face, which doesn't make this image very usable in my view. Here is the resized photo using Resize AI in Photo Raw 2023.5 with face recovery turned on. Notice that the photo is just as sharp, but this time the ugly artifacts have been cleaned up. And that is a big improvement. Let's look at a second photo. Once again, notice that this photo, which is roughly the same size as the previous photo, around 640 by 480 pixels, looks very soft if you just zoom the image without the resizing technology. Here is the resized photo using Resize AI in Photo Raw 2023.1. Again, the image is sharper. And again, there is the presence of unsightly artifacts in the face, which are really unattractive. Here is the resized photo using Resize AI in Photo Raw 2023.5 with face recovery turned on. Notice here once again the sharpness of the image, but without the ugly artifacts from the previous Resize AI. So in short, Resize AI with face recovery is a big improvement. No more artifacts and you get a much cleaner photo, especially if you turn noise reduction on. But we hope to do a more in-depth comparison with industry leader Gigapixel AI in the future. The next improvement is with the Refine Mask Brush. In case you didn't know what the Refine Brush is, the Refine Brush works in conjunction with Super Select AI wherein after you make the selection with Super Select AI, especially on difficult subjects like trees and branches, you will notice that there are a lot of errors in the masking process. So Refine Brush is really an essential in order to correct this process. And in Photo Raw 2023.5, they made a specific model using hair and tree branches to make this process of producing a more accurate mask, more reliable and less error prone. So in my test, I think they achieved this goal, but compared to the previous Refine Brush, the difference is not really that big, but I did detect a slight improvement in performance. The third improvement is the improvements to the Curves tool. The Curves tool now includes a histogram, and that gives an extra data point on where you want to make adjustments to your image. In the new Curves tool, you can now also use an eyedropper to set the point on a curve and drag it up and down to adjust the brightness. So those are three improvements in On One 2023.5. To answer the final question, is the On One Photo Raw 2023.5 a big upgrade? My answer there is no, unless you are interested in Resize AI, wherein the addition of face recovery and noise reduction did improve image quality significantly. As for the rest of the upgrades, while they're always welcome, the impact when I tested it is barely noticeable. I guess that is to be expected given this is a 2023.5 upgrade. You probably have to wait for On One Photo Raw 2024 to get something that really moves the needle. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know what you think of the new On One Photo Raw 2023.5 upgrade. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, 
make sure to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.